So I spent 20 minutes sketching this thing and none of it showed up on my camera phone because my phone's dumb. And as soon as it wants to stop recording, when I'm not looking, it seems, it'll just stop and then I'm without whatever I was trying to do. And it's horrible. I hate this. This phone is not any good. Um, let's see if I can get a yellow variant or something. Different color in here will change what the, the stupid phone picks up on. Oh, shoot. I dropped my sucker. That's right. Dropped sucker. Hang on, damn it. That's kind of creative. Alright, fine. Turn this crappy light off. Oh, look. Because now it has to use this in order to see. Yep, and then it turns yellow again. So if I get behind the light, yep, I spent so long drawing that, and now it's useless. <laughs> That's annoying. And that's the There we go. So, yep, I drew this. Her leg's too thick. She's got that movable kilt <laughs> armor. <laughs> uh, top half, some arm armor, a shield kind of like a football helmet and of course her weapon so I tried anyways okay so perhaps let's draw this one flying let's see if I can draw that just a challenge so I'll take a quick snap of it boop And then now I will start. So we have the body. The tail is up. And almost coming immediately down. And it goes into a kind of roll of a chest. And then up comes the head which the noggin is more forward, come up, roll over the back, and go up with the wing, and it goes up, this other wing, this is the bottom, there's a little bit more volume in appearance. We had quite a dip at that tip. I went past my page, also not a good thing to miss planning out your drawing. There, and the beak is pointed down, it's rounded, it's got a tip and uh, a bottom jaw point, very rounded, comes up to a peak and then up to the bridge of the nose, cut short, up to the smile, you got kind of a cleft there, a lot of structure, See the eye is a bit bigger up here. The eye is about here, and got a lot of deep shadow.
coming back around. And we got this. Okay. And the eye. There. Oh, let's see. Uh, we've got the chest. I think it needs to be a little bit more. Got the bum way back there and the legs, which are pointed out in a way this bird is um, mid-landing or mid-takeoff. This is a whole foot. This is a whole foot. Oops. A little more narrow. We got the joint. Not that thick. There. Okay. And this is so awkward. I have terrible lighting in this room. It's difficult for me to even see anything in here. There. Ah, there's the bird. Okay. Boop. And then we have the bird. These wings could be just a bit longer. So we've got these fluffy little feathers on the back tail. And um, obviously this is the strangest beak that I personally have ever seen. You get a load of that crazy beak there. That is a weird looking beak. So that is what I went for. And there's quite a darkness in this corner here. And then, of course, you have all of these feathers. So, that obviously is a habit I have of quickly jotting in stuff. It actually ruins my drawing when I do that, to quickly jot in stuff. Unless I really know the shape really well. Because otherwise, it just looks like cross hatching gone wrong. So don't quickly jot and start with your figure drawing or figure shapes. Um, get get better basic structure, details, so that would come next, okay, so I started with my basic shape and then I did structure details, so have the head come into the beak, the eye, that helps define the creature, gives it some life. It's feet, very important for a bird. Um, a little bit more muscle for the wings, shape, strength. Um, make sure you have its basic structure figure sketched out. These are very important. Now I'm bad at shading. I do not shade well. I, I could practice that. So, I mean, most of this would be more of a charcoal shade. You would shade this with the side of a charcoal pencil. This is not, up here you'd have detail, a little bit of detail here, but most of this, I, I would just end up kind of blurring it. 
just because <clears throat> that is what it looks like. It looks like the feathers are soft. And obviously I don't have the right pencil for this. So even if I go over it in the direction that the feathers would go, clearly this is not the best here. And then do some wing stuff because you got continue with that but I think getting better at shading would be a thing I needed to do don't feel confident in shading this bird to that extent you can only ego trip so long before you realize you're wrong, and you have to start over and relearn stuff just like everything else does. Welcome to reality. Wow, that's terrible. Yep. Awful. <laughs> Sweet. That's exactly what I wanted. There's actually another layer of feathers that goes here. And then I have these wing feathers and they pretty much come up to here. And that's where that goes. Sometimes coloring with colored pencils and just picking two colors, like I said, is a pretty spiffy deal when just basically describing the basic image of, an, of a creature. You don't even have to be realistic about it. It's kind of de-stressing. That's how I can describe that. Um, how do I describe that?
There we go. True on that. 